Hello, 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 hello. It's time for yet another Subpixel live stream. Joining us is a uh, special guest, Jimmy Jones. How you doing, buddy? Doing well, how are you, sir? I'm not gonna answer that question. Uh, Will, <laughs> how you doing, buddy? You're right, you're right here, you're right below me. Hi. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm good, right where I am. Oh, boys, do you know what we're doing today? Uh, nope. No, sure. <laughs> we'll go with no. Oh, no yeah, I, I forgot am. to send the email. Um, we're playing Fiasco, <laughs> folks. Uh, it's another Fiasco. I feel like last time. I feel like last time went really well. It was the first time we did Fiasco as a live stream as part of Tabletop RGB. Will and I had played it previously once. I played it once before then. Jimmy, it was your first time, right? Yep. Was it good for you? Oh, it was so good. <laughs> I took my cherry. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like Ian and I did a really good job last time. Yeah. 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 And I didn't bring you down too much. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, yeah. yeah. So we did, what was it? Um, Fiasco on the Disoriented Express. Is that what it was called? Mm -hmm. um, yes, I believe yeah. so. And it was basically, I don't know. Uh, Will, how would, you, how would you plot summary it? Um, there was people on the train. And the Queen of England was murdered by one of the guys on the train. By the kid. But it was made to look like a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was some sort of, em was it like a green emerald? Yes. That the guy was hiding and some Australian guy hired him and all this stuff. And then uh, I was right. yeah. I was like a Hakiro Poirot, Poirot uh, stand-in. Yeah. And... Um, I got torn in half, I believe. But it was your decision, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. It was my decision. So you could cross to the caboose and arrest the other guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jimmy, what was your character? Wasn't it like a surprise anarchist or something? <laughs> um, surprise, I think, was in there somewhere. But yeah, I, I was a secret anarchist. But uh, my my job was... Um, oh, what's Porter? The word? Porter, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah, Porter, yes. that's right. I was a Porter. Ian was my boss. That's right. Oh, yeah, because I was... we didn't get along well. I was the captain. Um, well, we're doing something... Nope, you were the conductor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the right. The or the conductor. You had, you had an eye patch. Uh, you had <laughs> I, a parrot on one shoulder. I had... <laughs> We were in yeah, the ocean. Right, the captain I, of the I, I had three hook hands. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Just one coming out of <laughs> um, so today we're oh, doing worries. fiasco, but we're doing uh, first contact. So let me kick it over to the game screen. Um, so first contact. This is a fiasco playset by Dave Grafham. Uh, so let me read Thank the you. the introduction for this. First contact. Oh, I'm not on the right page. Making a good impression. The signal arrived and shook the world. Proof of extraterrestrial intelligence. It was a simple code easily deciphered and translated. We acknowledge and congratulate you. Meet us at paradise. This was followed by coordinates to a previously unknown ice ball of a world in the backwaters of the solar system. Now the interplanetary exploration vehicle Carl Sagan is making its final approach to a distant planetoid named Paradise. The Sagan's main computer, the hyper-intelligent nervous system for the mission, has been making mistakes lately. After the boredom and repetition of a long journey, and turning over in their minds the endless possibilities of what they might soon discover, some of the crew are about to crack. It's the most important day in history. Humankind balances on the edge of cosmic enlightenment and oblivion. Movie night, again, these are just kind of inspiration to set the, the, the theme and the tone. 2001 A Space Odyssey, 2010... What's the subtitle for 2010? Anyways, I can't remember that. It's the sequel to 2001 A Space Odyssey. Alien, Event Horizon, Prometheus, The Shining, and Sunshine. All right. So, gentlemen, do we remember how to play? Um, I'm assuming yes, but Absolutely. I'll, I'll, give a, I'll give a brief uh, summary for myself and for the, uh, the viewers. So, basically, we have a bunch of dice here in the middle. We're going to roll these dice, and from these dice, we're going to use the numbers on the dice to pick characters, pick relationships between each of us. So each of us is going to have a relationship with the person to our left or the person to our right, um, which, because this is a three-person game, it means both of the other people. There's a category of the relationship, and then there's a detail. So, for example, the categories for this are partners, conspiracy, spiritual, romance, hostile, and history. And then, for example, the details are six items underneath each 
relationship category. So for example, the six details under partners are popular one wingman, lied to cover the other's role in a tragedy, janitors, linguist, philosopher, captain and first officer, biochemist and astrophysicist. Um, so we're going to be picking those. We're going to be using the dice to pick the category relationship and detail. First you have to pick the category, then you can pick the detail. However, there are also needs, locations, and objects. They work the same as the others. There are six categories and then six details underneath each category. And I believe we go with one of each. Um, and those are kind of, you can assign them to a person or you can have them as free for all. Typically the locations are free for all. You just want to incorporate them in the story at some point. Um, and I, I think that's good enough for the setup. Are you guys, you guys ready to, to get it going? Uh, sure, but is there a way you can share the screen oh, with me? Yeah, you want to join the, I'll, I'll paste the roll 20 in the chat. Remember how we used that oh, last great. time? Yes. Okay, let me. Uh... Uh, for those who don't know, Jimmy is technically uh, not quite there like the rest of us. <laughs> He, um, he can't hear me not, right now, so I, I'm free to speak, but oh, you know, it's very, very slow. I thought we didn't um, invite this witty, guy. That is. And uh, unfortunately, um, Drew Carey couldn't uh, make the appointment tonight, so we have to settle with Jimmy. It's a bad bit. Uh, okay, I'm going to re-roll all these <laughs> dice. Actually, I don't know if that, that re-rolled all of them. There we go. Oops. Hey, Ian, is there any way I can see this as well? Yeah, roll 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I rerolled. Now, Will, Will can't hear me right now, but he's not too bright. Um, <laughs> Someone muted my Skype. Okay, so we've got a bunch of numbers here. Um, so let's let's kick it off. Will, you want to go first? Um, so I believe you you can only choose one of the three relationship categories. Gotcha. Oh, but well before you so, do that, sorry, just to, just to say it, let's look at what we've got. We've got ones, we've got twos, we don't have threes, we have one four, and then we've got fives and sixes. So just keep it in mind, no threes for, for right now. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and use up our... Um, uh, I can choose any relationship, correct? Yeah, you can choose any relationship between anybody. So I'm going to choose the Jimmy Ian, and I'm going to make that four romance. Okay, all right, so let me toss this down here. And Jimmy and Ian are romance. Got it. Okay, so my turn. And I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with conspiracy between I'm going to go with conspiracy between Jimmy and Will. Ooh. Conspiracy is a two. Okay, so Jimmy, it's your turn. You can either pick a detail for those two relationships, or you can pick the category for the relationship between Will and I. The category for the relationship between you and Will. Um, so the only thing is there's no threes and yeah. no fours. Uh, I thought that I could pick like any one of the groups. I have to pick one of the groups that yeah, you is represented by the numbers here. Yeah, exactly. So you can't pick three okay. or you can't pick four, but you can pick one, two, five, or six. I'll choose um. Uh, that's six. History. History. Uh, that's between history. Will and I. His story. More like her His story. Story. <laughs> oh no, and that's the six gone too. So now it's just one, two, oh, five. Dang it. I had a good idea for the six. Alright, Will, it's your turn. Um, okay. Dang it. Oh, that was a good one. So now I can choose a detail, correct? Yes. Um, one, two, or five. I'm going to say that Oof. Um, I'm going to say uh, that you and Jimmy uh -huh. are space friends with benefits. <laughs> because oh, the way it's phrased yes. here, I don't want to say. <laughs> yeah, because we're PG-13. PG-13. So that's a five. Got it. Okay. 
I am going to say that Will and I have a history. And our history <gasps> is the q -Mech Club. I had to do <gasps> it. So we just got to figure out what that means. But, um, Jimmy, I don't know if you're aware of this, because, I mean, you watch all of our content, right? Like, all of it, multiple times? <laughs> uh, 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 obsessively. <laughs> like, you're going to have to get a restraining order against me. Uh, what did we, Jimmy, what did we stream on Thursday? Uh, Jimmy, uh... Uh, was that was that oh, uh, we... roller coaster tycoon? Oh, oh my god, he wow. does know it. <laughs> Jimmy. Wow, are you? He admitted. Jimmy, are you stream mom? What? <laughs> Wait, you have a follower called Stream Mom? Yeah, he. Okay, we love stream short mom. story is he showed up at our very first stream and was the only person watching, and so we were convinced it was one of our mothers, and it was just a stream fan who has been to like almost every stream since then. So we just call him Stream Mom. <laughs> Occasionally, I accidentally <laughs> say she, and he gets mad at me. Yeah. Um, but sorry, so another... I chose QMET Club because, Jimmy, um, Will and I have kind of gotten into Gundam, and specifically Ooh. building Gundam models lately. So I had to pick QMET Club. I had to do it. That's a little inside joke there. Okay. Hey. Um, you guys are cool. Yeah, sure we are. Uh, okay, so, Jimmy, it's now <laughs> up to you to pick the detail under conspiracy. I'm going with aliens are already on board. Oh god, that's oh, a oof. that's a good one. <laughs> so, we, so we don't not Oh we, shit, it's it. So we don't have to figure it out right now, but that could mean one of us is an alien, or maybe it's already on board as like a different character or a different object. Oh, that's a lot of possibilities yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. don't think one of us is specifically an alien. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could do that. Necessarily. I yeah. mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that leaves us with the uh, the need, the object, and the location. So remember, the object and the location, they tend to be more freeform, but the need goes on a person. So, Will, this goes to you. You get to define the category of a need, object, or location. One, two, or five is what I got, right? Yes. Um, I'm going to say, hmm. I'm going to say, oh man, that's so good. Um, oh. I'm going to say a one to tell someone. That's on, oh, that's I'm going to sign it to someone. I'm going to say yeah. Jimmy needs to tell someone. Okay. Hi, Karen. Okay. All right. So that's a need that's on. Jimmy. Where's Jimmy? Jimmy's up here. Okay, it's under Jimmy. You guys can't see. Well, yeah, you can kind of. So just to be clear, because yeah, you guys can't see this, but we'll do it when you put your names. Jimmy, you're top right. I'm top left, and Will mm -hmm. is at the bottom. Um, it makes sense on the stream, but because you guys can't see that. Okay, um, it's now my turn. I can pick. Oh, sorry, what was that? Oh. That was a one? Got it. Yeah. Okay. I. What is it? One, two, or five? What are you, you're picking a location now, right? I can pick a location category, an object category, or I can pick the detail on the need. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um. I want to go with. I want to go with object is tools. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to put that down here. Whoops. I think I grabbed a dice on accident or die. Okay. So Jimmy, it's up to you now. You can either pick the category on the location or you can pick the detail on need or object. Uh, for locations, I'll go with uh, two life support. Life support. Okay. Sorry, it's just taking me a little bit to write all these down. Life support, that's a two. Okay, so now it's back to you, Will. There's a one and a five left. One and a five. So I can pick, you can pick the, detail. the location, no, you can pick the object, or... Yeah, detail on need, location, or object. Yeah. 
Um, let's just let's just run through it while you're while you're doing that. So the need is to tell someone so you can pick where to stick their regulations or about the ghosts. The location is is life support, so you can pick spider monkey cages or waste disposal. And the objects is tools, so you can pick emergency kill switch or computer virus. Uh, I'm gonna go with tools, emergency kill switch. Okay. Tools, emergency kill switch. Okay. Um, the last die is a five, but the last die is wild. Oh, wait, did we? Don't we need two more dice? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we do need two more dice. Well, the last one's wild, so it doesn't matter. So, so I'm gonna pick a five, which is either the life support waste disposal, or to tell someone about the ghosts. About the ghosts. I'm gonna go with waste disposal. <laughs> Adding ghosts and aliens. <laughs> it's a bit much. Okay, Jimmy. Yeah. So it's um, it's all you now. Most aliens are You ghosts. get to pick any of the six under the need to tell someone. And remember, this is for you. Ooh. So for me. Yeah. Uh, need to tell someone, and I can pick anyone I want. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> oh yes. no. One of the options is about the ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Even really though won. I already have the conspiracy they of really aliens won. already. <laughs> they really want both. <laughs> uh, would that would that be too crazy? Is that too crazy? It's completely up to you. I'm not crazy about it. Okay. Wait, let's let's um, let's go through it. The need to I, tell someone where to stick the regulations. They are loved about the spores in the air samples. The actual translation of the alien message about the ghost or a critical system is failing. What do you think, Jimmy? I'll go with uh, they are loved because that fits uh, the fact that I am spaced friends with benefits. Oh, so you're you're oh. a little bit. You want to take this beyond friends? That's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah. Kind of like the Ashton Kutcher to your yeah. um, Natalie Portman. Am I confusing movies here? You want to be spacing best friends. Oh, no, that is the is that the right? Or is that Mila Kunis in that one? It's a good question. I don't think you're allowed to say These that. are the wait, important wait questions. Weren't there like identical <laughs> movies made at the same time? And it was the same scenario. Yes. And one was one was it was Mila Kunis Finding and Nemo. Justin Timberlake. I'm no, sorry. It was it was Ashton Kutcher and Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis and who was the other girl? Natalie Port Portman. I think it was Natalie Portman. Yeah, you know what we're talking about, Will? Nope. It was two different. <laughs> this is this is great. This is better than the game itself, actually. <laughs> um, but Friends with Benefits was Justin Timberlake and uh, Mila Kunis, so I might be. No, I think you're right, because there, there's definitely one where they're like... Well, I'm looking at Google. I feel like one was but, they're friends with benefits and they fall in love, and the other one was they're friends and they decide to, to sleep with each other. Yes, yes. Natalie... Wait, we're um, friends. Do you, do you want to talk, talk about it? No strings attached. No strings no attached, strings. which is super weird, because yeah. Mia Lacunas and Ashton Kutcher are now married... Yes. But they were in separate movies that were about the exact same thing at the same time. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Ian, I love that everything except your couch. <laughs> I know, my couch. Oh, oh no, now it's gone. Let's see if That's get so it weird. Um, it's the wrong oh, arm. I got it back. Go. Is that from The Mandalorian? I mean, it's from Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars. Anyways, um, okay, so I want to go over, before we start the game... I want to go over our relationships as they're currently defined and then maybe talk a little bit about what we think this story is going to start with. So to start it off with, my character is in a, is in a romantic friends with benefits situation with Jimmy. Jimmy's character is involved in a conspiracy with Will about the aliens are already on board. And Will and I have a history of the QMEC club. So I think Jimmy and I are pretty clear. But I think for you guys, not that this has to be decided now, but does that mean 
you know the aliens are already on board and you're covering it up or you think they're already on board? I would maybe like have pretty strong proof of in in some way mm -hmm. um, where we don't know for certain, but like we found something that strongly suggests it. Okay. Yeah, or just because it is a conspiracy, yeah. so it's not proof. But I think, and I think to make this better, I think one of you should be driving the conspiracy, and the other one is listening along but is not bought into it yet, or is trying to disprove Ooh. it. You know what I mean? I, I don't. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to get too far along in like the plot. Maybe so. If this is too far, just tell me. But maybe. In that sense, Will could be the one that finds the evidence, brings it to me as his friend, and is like, we can't tell anyone. And the secret that I have is that I'm actually one of the aliens, oh. but I'm space friends with benefits with uh, you, Ian. And that's one of the secrets that I have is I have fallen in love with you, but I need to. I think I think is that too much? I think it's up to you if you want to do that or not. But don't tell us until it comes out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then um, Will and I, I, I think we can figure out our QMAC club while we're going. It doesn't seem super important, but we can figure yeah, it out. Yeah, I think. Um, and then tools, there's an emergency kill switch that comes up in the story at some point. Life support, waste disposal area or room that comes up at some point. And then Jimmy has a need to tell someone they are loved, which uh, I don't know if you're on board with that, Jimmy, where it's the idea that you're more into this relationship with me than I am with you. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's basically real life. Yeah. So. so other than that, I think now we each come up with our character names. And I think I think it would also be a good time to figure out what our role is. I think this is a I think this is a small spaceship. I don't think it's just the three of us. I think it but I, I'm, I think it's maybe like a dozen people. Right. And there's like, yeah, I would say. And there's like there's like a, a, a medical technician. There's the captain, there's the pilot, there's like the, the science officer, the weapons officer. Um, so I think come up with your character and come up with what their role is, like what their title is. Um, okay, so coming up with my character name. <clears throat> also, we should, w w before we do that, what, when do we think this is? I think this is like, how far in the future is this? I was going to say like the, uh, like... 2030s maybe yeah i was thinking that too like it's pretty it's pretty recent and with the message came kind of like contact it gave you the details to make the spaceship so it's pretty it's pretty close to where we are now does that sound good jimmy yep okay okay all right so come up with your names um and your and your uh your position hmm Talkie or missionary? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make your own joke? And then we're the only one who started laughing uh, at it? Oh, Will, also, Will, I heard... Yeah. No, you go first. Yeah, you go ahead. I heard I heard Top Gear or missionary. No. <laughs> so I was really confused. Um, you got to tell, you got to tell Jimmy what she said the other day that I found hilarious. Oh, so we were talking about, for some reason, we were talking about Kiefer Sutherland. And then, like, long story short, I was, like, muttering, and I was just like, because Ian says goofer all the time. So I just said, oh, like, goofer Sutherland. And so mm. we started coming up with another actor named Goofer Sutherland. He's just an idiotic version laughing. of Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> he's Donald Sutherland's other, like, stupid, incompetent son. <laughs> like, he's the, um... No, but well, you're Keith telling Steven. me I got 24 hours to figure this out? <laughs> Can I get 48 and stay it? Oh, uh, but that's only half a day. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways. Um... Uh. Oh, this is tough. I, I figured mine out already. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I've got my, I've got my title. <clears throat> wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I am. I am. Communications officer Cosimo Gutierrez. 
Mm. Maggie's been watching the Medici show a lot, and Cosimo is a good name from that. Cosimo. Daisuke. Daisuke. Uh, Jimmy, are you ready yet or no? Um, sure. Um, my name is uh, Goofer um, <laughs> Spachemin. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. I'm going to spell that phonetically though because it's funnier. Spachemin. S P U C H E M U N. Spachemin. <laughs> Goofer Spachemin. Uh, what's your role <laughs> on the ship? Um, I, I kind of, if you guys, I'm like technician. Yeah, that's fine. I yeah. don't know. Chief technician? Chief technician. You're in charge of technicians. <laughs> There's only you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're the master chief technician. Sometimes there you go. Sometimes people like joke and and say like you don't do anything for your job and you get really offended. <laughs> I'm the <laughs> chief technician. You're the only but technician people, gopher. <laughs> but the people ask me what I actually do day to day yeah. and I just get exasperated and How uh, dare you. Or I say like I have multiple functions and duties that managerial come up from time to time. <laughs> People rely on me. You're just you. You know how many time cards I have to sign? <laughs> um, Yours. <laughs> <laughs> Will, Will, what's your character? Uh, I'm uh, Flynn Johnson, uh, Chief Medical. Um, F L Y N N J O N S O N. Yeah, okay. nailed it. Flynn Johnson. Oh, J. Sorry, J, J O H N. Okay. I, I wasn't actually listening to you spell it. Wow. It's not Dutch. Okay, so um, I'm Cosimo Gutierrez. I am. <laughs> Please don't do an accent. <laughs> Cosimo. I'm Cosimo Gutierrez. Uh, Are you Cosimo Kramer? I forgot what my <laughs> I'm communications office. <laughs> um, we're going out there. We're going out there, Jerry. All right, gentlemen, are we ready? To play first contact. Blast off. Blast off. Okay, I'll kick it off. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just throw it up in the air. Does anybody feel like they have a good opening scene? I don't think I have one. Let's think it through whenever. Am I? Yeah, well. I, I had a bit of an opening scene, but I didn't want to waste waste disposal right at the beginning if you guys had better ideas for it i don't have better ideas for it you got better ideas i, I was kind of thinking of starting in waste disposal with uh flynn and goofer cleaning up some sort of mess oh okay and and, and then it's like psst. okay gotcha yeah. okay yeah let's let's go with that so uh, will how about you kick it off uh, okay so oh, wait, and just real quick remember the die so whenever you want to just say black die or white die and that gets handed to the person who's running the scene and that determines if they have a their character has a good outcome or a bad outcome let's do gotcha. it so i'm gonna set the scene uh waste disposal there's waste everywhere and uh <laughs> both goofer and flynn are well i would say uh flynn is mopping while goofer is clearly working with some sort of technician mm -hmm. uh panel uh to like rewire some stuff and uh flynn is just gonna be like Hey man, uh, wh what do you think? Uh, we always get the short straws on this this clean job. It's tough luck, I tell you, tough luck. But you know, <laughs> at least I got the cleaner work, doing the operating board for all the toilets. Beep, boop. I I just can't believe the captain doesn't chew his corn more. Hey, but uh, and you... we have janitors on this ship. Why, why, why don't they just do this? I, I, I really don't know. They, I'm the chief, do, chief medical doing, officer, and they're doing your job right now. Surgery. I know. We've it's had so many deaths. It's disgusting. We've lost sixty-five crewmen. Hey, uh, hey, knock, knock, knock. Hey, guys, uh, I got another corpse hey, uh, here. What? I got another corpse. You got uh, room? Oh, uh, thank you, Davy. Yeah, uh, just, yeah, uh, we got plenty of room. I'll put it in the corner. All right. Oh, but this is. Okay, uh, yeah. Put it in the yep. corpse corner. All There's right. a corpse corner. All right, let me just man. one, two, three. Oh, oh, right on top oh, of the pile oh, there. Oh, 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 All right, you guys have fun. Boy, it sure smells stinky in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you know, whenever I'm, feeling, whenever I'm feeling lonely, I come down and look at the corpses. All right, time for me to go. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> um, oh, man, Davy. Hey, you know what? Davy's been acting a little bit weird lately. He's been really? uh, he's been leaving this like slime on the floor, and I've been oh. I've been seeing it. He came down to the chief medical area where I'm the chief medical, and um, <laughs> he had me look at it, and it's like seeping out of his foot skin, and it's Ooh. just like looping. And I, I don't. I think he. Uh, you know, all this stuff's cropped up pretty good. I don't want to say what I think I'm saying, but wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I think he might be, uh, you know, an extraterrestrial. Whoa! As in not of this oith? As in not of this oith. Oh, my goodness gracious. What what, what kind of ooze is this guy seeping? Uh, it's like uh, it's like white, salty, uh, <laughs> but very, very sticky. Uh, and where is this seeping from again? <laughs> it's from... Uh, it's like bubbling out of his boots. I got him walking around with bags now. This oh, Davy right. guy. On his his feet. Yeah, on his feet. Okay, wow. And he's head chef, and I don't know what Davy's. He's crazy. He's cooking. Come to think about it, a whole bunch of the meals have just been big bowls of salty, goopy, sticky white stuff. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And it I- tastes. But it tastes out of this world. <laughs> oh, uh, white dye. Like tadpoles. Um, white dye is good, right? Yeah, so your character's going to have a good outcome. Oh. But uh, I haven't been able to find any sort of proof or anything. It's not like, wait a minute here. Wait, look at this trash bag. There's this piece of paper that says from Davy, and it's in alien language. Oh, my goodness. We gotta bring this to the captain right away. No, no, not yet. The captain might be an alien too. We 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 don't know how many of these little critters are scurrying around on board. Oh, that's true. You're right. Let's keep this between you and me. Sounds and good. Uh, let's hurry up and finish cleaning this. Uh, I think we're almost done. Oh, uh, absolutely! No. here's here's a hundred dollars. Okay, scene. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I've got a scene. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so it's a um, it's a cabin. It's a crew crewman's cabin. Crewman's cabin. Um, and uh, it's dark in the cabin, but you hear like muffled sounds, and you see shapes moving, and then you the hear with two backs. you hear some moaning, and then <gasps> and then you hear it. Wait, what does that sound like? like <laughs> <laughs> and the other one's like. <laughs> 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 And then it stops for a bit, and then you see like an e-cigarette light up, and in the light, you see the face of Cosimo Gutierrez, and he says, "That was a good one, but Gemin, better than usual." Yep. We sure did make love. I mean, we made a uh, oh. uh, uh, carnal relation. That's, that's a little bit more Not than that. Enough. It's. Uh, dare I say it was uh, a little bit of the F word, fracking. Oh, we really oh. fracked. Uh, Are you losing your fracking mind? You know there was a little, it was a little weird moment there where it felt like you were just driving at something, like you just had to exercise some demon. Is there anything going on you want to talk about? Uh, 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 something going on? No! <laughs> Are, you, Are you kidding me? Everything's perfectly normal. Everybody on board is who they say they are. Uh, there's white goop? What white goop? Hey, well, I mean, except for, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, I gotta get it. Yeah, we gotta clean up. Let me, uh, and he shuffles out of the bed, and he notices on the bedside table <laughs> is a piece of paper with alien writing on it. And he goes, <gasps> hey, uh, what's this? Uh, that's, uh, that's nothing. Uh, d- don't pay attention to that. Here, g- give it here. No, give no, it no, here. no, 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 no. Goofa, you know what I am on this ship? I'm the chief communications uh, officer. You know what writing uh, is? <coughs> it's a form of communication. Wait, you you lost me. Back up. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute. Are you accusing me of communicating badly? Because that's <laughs> offensive. Did I tell you I'm I, the chief communications okay. officer or not? You know, speaking of communication, sure seems like everybody on this ship sounds the same. <laughs> but that's what that's what attracted to me. That's what attracted me it's to you. It's like it's kinda like 
when you use your hand, but it's somebody else's hand. And they sound and just like you. when you sit on it, you <laughs> sit give, on it. I'm going to say black hands. die. Black die? Okay. And then I add, ding, dong, ding. Will crewman Cosimo Gutierrez please report to the captain's quarters? Do you mind if I take this with me? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Give it here. All right, okay. Hey, hey, Goofa, we got something... I don't want to say something special, because that means it's more than just a fling to me, because that's all it is to me. It's, that's all it is to you, right? We're just friends. There are some benefits involved. That's right. That's, that's it. That's right. Clearly, I've struck a nerve here, and even though my job is to look at communication and communicate <clears throat> effectively with humans and extraterrestrials, and clearly you're hiding a piece of extraterrestrial communication <laughs> that needs to be communicated with by the first communications officer here, I respect you. I respect your job as technician. I'm just gonna let it go, okay? You know what? I respect that so much. I'm gonna let you have the paper, but don't show it to the captain. Capiche? Uh, okay. Okay. Wait, I have a black dye this. This has to end badly for me. Oh, you know what? You slip me a blank piece of paper and not the real thing. Mm. And I go, Thanks, Goofa. I'll remember this the next time. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Have carnal relations. Good. For a second there, I thought you weren't communicating <laughs> with me properly, which again is offensive. Oh, no, it's like, the, it's like the thing that we do. It's like our main thing. That's all we do, right? <laughs> There's nothing else to do <laughs> around here. Anyways, uh, I smack you on the butt. Later. Whoa. Later, Goofs. <laughs> and I walk out scene. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Goofer, it's your turn. Uh, so what do I have to do? <laughs> I have to set up a scene yeah, with, with myself. With your character in it, yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. I should have been thinking about this. <laughs> and all of the time. Well, you got to find leading up until proof, right? Or no, you you have the paper with the alien writing on it. You know I'm suspicious. And it was it you still need to find more proof for Flynn or that you need to get it deciphered and proved to him? I'm trying to remember. Ooh, maybe we could get it deciphered. But you're the chief communications officer. But there is the AI. Remember, there's the AI on the ship that's a little wonky. Oh, Ooh, yeah. and it's going wonky. That's right. Yes. I am the chief communication AI. <laughs> trying to take this thing's so eloquent. I love it. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm with the, the ship's AI that's, that's going a little wonky. Okay, but wait, real and quick, I, I want to I know what this, what this looks like. Is this just like a server room? Or is this like you're whispering into a comm? Or is this like a holographic deck? I want to know what this interface I, looks like. I'm thinking it's... It's mm, V'ger. It's a Star Trek reference. Um, <laughs> Thank you. you. Know Good movie. Just, Good movie. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> haven't seen it i just i've never seen like an episode of star trek i just know a lot mm -hmm. about it like, i'm a learned i'm a renaissance man wait a minute uh, wait a minute no. you've never seen star trek but somehow you know the spoiler <laughs> name to star trek the motion picture yes <laughs> that's <so> yeah <laughs> that's so weird <laughs> do you know what botany bay is that's like no. That's like saying, like, uh -huh. look, I've never read or seen Lord of the Rings, but I know who Bombadil is or whatever his name is. It's like, what? Tom Bombadil. I know. Tom Bomb Johnny Tom. Uh, Tom Bombadil. Listen, he's a Horcrux. We all know him. <laughs> never read Harry Potter, but <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, what does this interface look like? Okay, I'd like to imagine it like is. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. No. It is like a sterile, like white room that's just like no furniture, nothing except for in the center. There's a pillar, and in the center of a pillar is just like kind of a, an orb type of thing, like floating. Okay. A red orb. Okay. And that's the AI, and it kind of glows when it speaks. Boom. Uh, Will, it, Hello. it sounds like you're, you're doing the voice, right? Yeah, that's yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I totally forgot about it. I was just doing an announcement earlier, but this makes sense. Okay. Hey, AI, how how you feeling, buddy? Hello, human. 
Oh, <laughs> we have such a good rapport. Please submit uh, identification number. Uh, two. Correct. <laughs> how, how do you know if it's correct or not? <laughs> I match it with my database. Okay, that that makes sense. You always have an answer for me. And Thank actually, you. Uh, I know that you've been fritzing a bit, no offense, but uh, I was wondering, you, you seen anything weird on board? Any Anybody looking a little, uh, you know, abnormal? Not I have even. noticed in it. An increase in weight in Cosimo Guterres's bunk bed during oh. the hours of 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. and later from 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. Yeah, we really well. You forget about that. That's probably just like magic or something. Strike um, for record. But yeah, yes, great, great. Uh, yes, yeah, delete that. Um, all right. Well. Anyway, I, I just happened to stumble across this piece of paper that I think is just a, like a puzzle of some sort. Somebody came up with just a little fun code, uh, but I can't read it. I, I, would you mind deciphering it for me? Please feed paper to Orb. All right, where, where do I, where do, I, do I just put it straight up flat? And then it orb? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> The Are you paper. supposed to be making those R2-D2 noises? <laughs> the paper was blank. What? Blank? <gasps> oh, no. I slipped him the wrong paper. <gasps> oy, oy, oy. Black dye? I think definitely black dye. Uh, yeah, that kind of worked out. That doesn't have to be the end of the scene, though. Oh, if yeah, you, yeah. If yeah. you don't want it to be, it's up to you. So what else is up? <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> So Gutierrez, uh, it, um, you've seen him getting like, uh, I don't know, kind of familiar with anybody else. Uh, I mean, anybody on board, you know, looking at anybody <laughs> in a way. <laughs> Crewman Gutierrez has five partners on board the, U what's the name of the ship? Oh, the, the Carl Sagan. <laughs> the USS Carl Sagan. What what do, you, what do you mean by partners? Like business partners? What, what, what do you mean by that? I feel like I should not talk anymore. Crewman. Oh, it's but it, Chemin. It, it, Please it, it, submit an identification on. number. Two! <laughs> Access denied. What? Uh, wait, wait. Oh, hello, I'm new person. <laughs> um, Please submit identity. identification number. Four! Access granted. Oh, great. <laughs> so have you seen Crofin Gutierrez looking at anybody like he loves them? Crewman Gutierrez regularly meets with head chef Davey in what? the fry room at 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Oh, my gosh. Those are outside of the hours that were stupid. Oh. Anyway, I gotta go away. I thanks for the help. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Scene. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, so now it's back around to uh, William. Oh man. Oh no, wait, <clears throat> sorry, sorry. I forgot. We're supposed to be giving these die out. We can do that from now on. I forget about that. In the first half, you you get a die, but then you immediately give it to somebody else. And in the second half, you keep the die. So we just got to remember to do that. Okay. Uh, J Jimmy, you want to give your die to somebody? Oh. Uh, For any I'll, reason. I'll give it I'll give it to um, Will, since he has a white die. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just balance out, even though he's going to be immediately giving his up. <laughs> so it doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll give mine uh, straight back to Goofer for the uh, the slip of the old paper there. Oh, okay. Um, and I have mine. I'm trying to remember what my scene was. I I'm going to give mine to Goofer. That was a good bedroom scene. Okay. So now it's Will's turn. Okay. So um, so that was just Goofer feeding. So it turns out that Goofer tried to give the blank paper to to Cosimo. 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 But didn't he gave you the actual paper and he yeah. brought the blank paper to the ai 
<clears throat> so I guess let's do. I don't have to be my character in the scene, do I? No, I, it, I don't think you have to be. Well, I, so what I was going to say is, I was going to say the cat. This is the captain's quarters. The captain's there. Flynn's there, and then Cosimo comes in. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, to report his findings. So I guess Jimmy, if you want to be the captain uh, during the scene, <laughs> All and, right. Uh, and then you just enter whenever, just make like a ding dong or something, Ian. Okay. Um, so, yes, Captain, uh, the waste management, you know, it's all all figured out and everything. Uh, oh, there's, quite there's just, quite Yeah, there's just so many corpses. Excuse me, Captain, I believe I have... <sighs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were alone in here. You weren't alone. I'm oh. forgetting my voice. <laughs> oh, Goofer, you handsome devil, you. Come, you know, I mean, sorry, Captain, this is your quarters. Cosimo. But, uh, we were just, uh... Oh, sorry. Cosimo, you handsome young yes, Captain. You. I, I just went, I, I got some. I only crewed my ship with the most handsome men. The only men fit to be in space. Yes, Captain. You're you're perfect like that. Uh, I mean, I, I'll just, we were just uh, shooting the uh, the eagles, as they say. So, um, Cosimo, you can just feel free to talk to the um, Captain. Flynn, I'm not sure you sh Captain, do you, uh, this is a little sensitive to be honest with you. I'm also a trained therapist. Is it okay with you, Captain, if he stays? That's perfectly fine by me, but... Uh, oh, look at this. Uh, the good chef is arriving, per my request. And, and here he is now. It's a me, the chef. <laughs> I'm Davey. I, I brought the corpses earlier. Hey, hey, Captain, yes. did you request me? Yes. yes, I did, Davey. You must... Tell me, what is the secret ingredient to your slop, your white, oh, boy. salty, poopy, sticky slop? I love it, I love oh, it, I love boy. it. boy, you know, Captain, listen, I'm a strong, obedient crewman, and I follow orders, but I'll tell you what, I can't tell you the recipe, but I can tell you, whatever it is that you're eating, that I'm making for you, it's out of this world. Oh, delightful! I won't read into that at all. Oh. Now, you know, uh, I don't mean to like step out of bounds here as Chief Medical, but uh, <clears throat> I, this originally was a meeting just for the Captain and Cosimo, and I happen to be here, so Davey, if you could uh, see yeah, your yeah, way sure, out. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'm sorry, Captain. You know, I can't tell you the secret recipe. Excuse but... me, excuse me. Yes, yes Captain. Uh, did, you draw, did you draw the Captain straw this week, or was it me? I can't recall. Listen, it was you. I, I understand, Carl, I understand that you got the straw this week, but... To be fair, there was some accusations of cheating in our annual uh, straw drawing competition, so... That's true, and immediately after, you just shot 15 people. Um, hey, I, I, know I appreciate that. There I had are international no waters. waters. Space, I had nothing to do until I had corpses to carry. So thank you, Captain. You made well, me feel worthwhile. Wait, I'm in Davey, Davey, come. I'm pushing Davy out the door. Davey. Okay, okay. I, I don't. I don't need him anyway. Please. I gotta go. go, go. I gotta go cook up another Anyways. batch. Bye bye. <laughs> Anyways, Captain, it's good thing Cosimo's here. Yes. I think Davy might be an alien, and he's using his excretions as a food supplement for the crew. <laughs> this is outlandish. <laughs> uh, Captain, I, uh, I'm not sure I can fully support that conclusion, but I did happen to receive this today, and he pulls the piece of paper out, and he unfolds it, and it's, like, clearly alien text. My God! And where did That's you... That's alien text! <laughs> clearly! And I Wait, found where it. did you find this? I found it in uh, Goofa Spachemin's bunk. First technician, Goofa Spachemin. Uh, I, I will admit that I'm the one who gave it to Goofa. We found it in the waste disposal. Why didn't you take area. it immediately to the captain? Well, me. I'm the chief communications uh, officer. <laughs> I just couldn't think of a way to communicate it but properly. You, but you found it in the waste disposal? Yeah. So that means it wasn't uh, yours. It's somebody else's. I'm convinced it was the cook's. The Davy? He's the one no, with the excretions. Well, the delicious excretions. Gentlemen, <laughs> you gentlemen. shouldn't just eat grumptious excretions. <laughs> and you know, I, you know what? Um,. Mr. Johnson, I, I very much appreciate this, and I think 
you've, you've, you've made a very good point, and I will strongly consider this in the next next steps to take, and I will look into Davy, and okay. uh, you can rest Captain. assured that it is in good hands. Now, if, it, if you'll excuse me, I have a few things to Captain, discuss. Captain, please, with. before, I did decipher the message on this paper. My God, what does it say, Cosimo? Well, it's, it's another simple cipher similar to the one originally received by humanity with the welcome message and the coordinates to paradise. And being the chief communications officer, I don't mean to toot my own horns, but honk honk, I figured it out pretty easily. And it says, <laughs> it says, we hope you're hungry, the food is out of this world. Oh, but we're not from Hungary, we're from America! It, it, it must have been meant for somebody else. But it yeah. does sound an awful lot like something I recently heard somebody say. Yeah, I, it should be told, I'm so hungry right now, I can't even think straight. You guys want to go get some more slop? Let's, Let's go get, get some, some slop, slop and think yes. it over. Scene. <laughs> uh, Are we supposed to give out a die in yeah. that scene? <laughs> I think that, that sounds like a white die, right? Because I deciphered yeah, the message. Yeah, a white die. Okay, so that's a white die, and I'm going to give that to... Um... No, that's to me, right? It was my scene. Oh, I was your scene. Okay, who are you giving it to? I'm going to give it to you because that was good. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, so we are now in the, cafe, the mess hall. It's right afterwards. Cosimo, Flynn, the captain are now walking into the mess hall. And on the other side of the mess hall, we can see, what's his name, Danny? Davy. Davy. Davy is sloppily serving food to Goofer Spichetman. Can, can at this point, can yeah. Davy just be a mass of goo that is like in a human form, but we just <laughs> am wearing clothes, we just don't notice? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. So Davy's like, uh, first technician, that's Spichetman, you are very hungry today. Uh, thankfully, I made a lot. And he just, like, pours a whole bunch of slop in your bowl. It just comes out of his arm. It's not it's even a, a ladle. <laughs> it's like the bug guy from Men in Black. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you. Looks edible. My I'm... Flynn, Flynn, come here. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's serving food. Yeah. It's odd. He's, he's made always so lazy. Even more slop. We better get some before he runs out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to uh, take this trash can over. <laughs> you should empty that out first. Wait. He said empty it out first. So then I looked into the trash can, and it's all alien messages. Wait, give me those. Give me those. Here, here you go. Here you go. I'm going to need a couple minutes to decide for these, but I need you to distract Davy in the meantime. Oh, Davy! <laughs> and I'm suddenly in a dress. Yeah, you want some of this uh, slop over here? You want some of the slop? Oh, it's real good I want, slop. If oh, slop yeah. means you, then yes. Well, just bring your bowl over here. And he just lifts up his shirt and, like, scoops out a portion and slaps it. Oh. <laughs> the bowl. It's real good stuff, isn't oh. it? Oh, it's oh yes. Good. It's so good, Davey. Listen, what do you put you in it? You ever heard the saying, just one slop, I bet you can't stop? No, because I've never stopped before, Davey. Um, I'm a crippling addict to everything in my life, including pills. I'm a head doctor. As opposed to a brain doctor. Oh, yeah. Uh, speak words, I'm not feeling great. I'll be right back. And he, like, shuffles into the back kitchen area. Davy's, Davy's gone. C quickly, with the messages. I've deciphered one of them. And it says... It says... Once you slop, you can't stop. My God. <gasps> it's true. Do you think it's a declaration of war? No, I think it's a declaration of deliciousness as I shove another spoonful of slop into my mouth. <laughs> my God, Flynn, you look a little... Uh, Captain, Captain, what do you think of this message? Um, 
this message, it's too soon to tell, too cryptic, although it sounds awfully familiar to something I just heard recently. So Cosimo gets this look on his face, and he looks at you two, and Flynn is just, like, shoveling, just... <laughs> and Captain <laughs> is staring, is staring at Flynn, and then he looks at his own bowl, and he just copies the same technique. <laughs> <laughs> it goes just, so much faster this way. <laughs> this word. <laughs> Cosimo just goes, wait a minute. And he looks over, and the only person not, sh like, shoveling down this slop is Goofer Spachemin. <gasps> and he walks over and he goes, Hey, Spachemin. Yeah. I noticed you're not... I noticed you're not eating. Uh, yeah, you, you know, it's just, uh... I don't know. Weak stomach today. You didn't have a weak stomach last night. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, why don't we, uh... get out of here and make a meal of our own? Hey, I'd love to, but first, uh... You know that Davy guy? You notice he's been acting weird. Uh, uh, what, 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 what do you mean? Well, I just noticed that he's been uh, dropping. He's been making this slop a lot, and whenever you eat it, you like get really addicted to it. And it seems like everybody's eating it now. And now also, he's been leaving. He's been saying these phrases that keep showing up in these alien messages I've been finding. I'm gonna say black dye, and my and along with that, my input was gonna be that when you finish saying the sentence to Goofer, you notice that everyone in the room, including Davy, is just staring at you guys, like like invasion of the body snatcher, uh, like sort of. Okay, and then I say to Goofa, maybe we should go somewhere a little more private, and we like quickly shuffle out of the room. Yeah. Okay. And then everyone resumes eating. Nice. Uh, so this is going to go to... Uh, I can't even remember what happened in this scene. I'm just going to give it to Goofer. <laughs> that was like a six-character scene. I that have was so great. many dice. That was too <laughs> many. Um, so now it's... Will, you started it, right? Yeah. So now... Yeah. I think it's my turn. Yeah, this is the last scene of Act 1. Oh, wow. <laughs> Act 1. <laughs> All right, so it is... Me and uh, Cosmo, um, I guess back in his bunk, um, and, uh, all right, you know, Cosmo, that was, uh, that was pretty freaky, huh? Yeah, it was a good, oh, wait, are you talking about last night or the cafeteria? I was talking about last night, but now that you bring it up, the cafeteria thing that yeah. literally just happened was yeah. pretty weird. It was pretty weird. I, what, <laughs> I, I'm i starting to think. I mean, this is kind of going out here on a limb. I ain't got no evidence or proof. It's just kind of intuition, but I don't think that slop's good for you. Uh, Cosmo, there's something I've been hiding from you that I think is actually extremely pertinent right now and maybe could make all the puzzle pieces for this mystery come together. Goofo, I don't need it's not really the time for us to come together and for me to see your pertinent surprise. No, <laughs> <laughs> no that's not what I mean. What what I mean is I love you. Oh, Goofa. Yeah. Goofa, I mean I really like you, but I don't, I'm not really sure I'm a one butthole kind of guy. <laughs> I'll get another one. I'll get three. Oh, Goofa, I really appreciate it, but I, I don't know. You know. You know, when I talk to the AI, I know you've been sleeping around with everybody on this ship. What can I say? I like the diff, I like to, you ever go in a store and it's no. like, like, they got a bunch of clothing on the racks, and you see, like, a really nice, like, leather jacket, and you see, like, some blue suede shoes, and you see, like, a button down with, like, purple flowers on it. You know what you think? You think, I want to try, yeah, like I want to try on every single thing in here. And no, you know what? You got a clothes fetish, you freak? When I walked on this spaceship, and I saw these beautiful semen... <laughs> 
I wanted to try every single one of them on. Uh, so, what what you're saying is, you don't want to be with me. No, Goofa. I'm saying you don't love me. I'm saying you're my favorite pair of shoes to wear on a Tuesday. I just don't Tuesday. What about the other eight days of the week? Friday, I like my dancing shoes. Saturday morning, I like my bathrobe. Wednesday. Don't forget Slurp Day that was added in uh, 2027. And, and Wednesday afternoon, and then Crunch like... Day that was in 2030. Wednesday afternoon, I like a little bit of a reach around. All right, I got some, I got some strict things I like in my life, and I'm not sure. Black die. That saying "I love you" to you is part of that. Well, you're gonna have to be reaching around to some other fellas, cause we're through. And I storm out of the room. Oh no! Guess I won't be in his slop anymore. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, Jimmy. Who's that die same. going to? Oh. You? <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, yeah. Wait, I wasn't even in it, so of course it was you. <laughs> oh, well, you can give it to me. That would have really been an indictment on Ian's performance <laughs> if I gave it to. Well. <laughs> All right, one second. I gotta look up this tilt table. Um, tilt. Uh. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna po paste this link in the chat because this doesn't have the tilt on it, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. No, I don't think it does. So this is halftime. So what happens at halftime is uh, everybody rolls your die. So I'm gonna roll your die for you. So. Thank you. I have a one one, which means I have a zero because it's the white and black totals that cancel each other out. Goofer has. Gotcha. Uh, an 11 black and Flynn has a 4 black so the highest black is Goofer and the highest white I guess is technically me because you don't have any white at all Flynn it's true okay so basically what happens is um, we're going to roll any remaining white or black dice, so these dice in the middle, they have now been rolled. I'm going to move them out of the way for now. So what happens is the highest white and the highest black each choose a tilt from these dice, and then I choose the sub-tilt for your tilt, and you choose the sub-tilt for my tilt. Does that make sense? So the tilt is the category, and the sub-tilt is the detail. So we have a 4, 5, and 6... And, um, Jimmy, you get to go first to pick a category for the, for the tilt. So it's, um, four, five, and six is okay. guilt, paranoia, and failure. Ooh. Um, paranoia. Okay. One second, folks. I just gotta put that there. Oh, yeah, we never brought up the QMAC club. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, so paranoia. <laughs> it seems like something. Oh. Never mind. I almost said subtitle. We were in the cube club. <laughs> okay, sub tilt. Okay, so you chose paranoia. Paranoia is a five. So now there's no more fives. It's a four or six. So I get. I got to choose a category now. Between guilt and failure. I'm going to choose guilt. <gasps> um, so, unfortunately, that just means it's all sixes from here. So, we, even though you get to choose my sub-tilt and I get to use your sub-tilt, it's a six. So. Okay. So, the paranoia one is somebody is watching, waiting for their moment, and the guilt is... A showdown. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to put these that dice over here. Okay, so for Act 2, these tilts need to come into effect in some way. 
the tool for the emergency kill switch and the QMEC club haven't come up yet, so we should try to do that. We got the location done, we got the need done. And uh, for Act 2, you keep the die when you're giving it to you. You don't give it away. So, you gotcha. kick it off with Will. Um, so, I'm going to do... Hmm. So, where did we left off with you are in the mess hall happily eating slop. Yeah. So, I was trying to find a way to get my character back onto the quote-unquote human side... Does he have to be, though? No, he doesn't have to be. Um, so I'm going to do Quinn knocking on Goofer's door. Because I'm assuming Goofer stormed out of Cosimo's room to go cry in his room. Yeah. Um, and so I'm just going to be banging on his door and waiting for him to answer. Uh, who's there? I raised Flynn Johnson. Oh, Flynn! Come on in. <laughs> hey, and so Flynn's just this white mass of disgustingness, but you, it's just wearing human clothes and just like oozing into your room. Hey, man, and you look like a million bucks. I love sleep. Um, yeah. listen about that alien message I found in the wake wake management. It, it, I think it was a prank. Oh, a, pr- a prank by whom? By God. <laughs> <laughs> one of those God pranks, huh? <laughs> no, God. He's one of the janitors. One God of the janitors Johnson. Is God. <laughs> he's a distant cousin. Wait, wait. One of the janitors is the. Is this your brother? He's a distant cousin. Anyways, oh, I'm going into southern Alabama type of accent. <clears throat> but uh, we don't have to concern ourselves with aliens. Um, if you could get your friend, Cosimo, to send a message back to her saying all is fine, then we can put this trouble behind us. Well, Cosimo and I ain't talking. Ain't on talking toys right now. Uh, but are you still moaning? Uh, um, am I still emoting? Sure, that's what I said. <laughs> okay, I guess I think you might have said something. Something a little more salacious than that. I'm going to go with emoting and... Uh, my emotions are totally under control. I do not feel any negative emotions of betrayal or heartbreak at all. White Thank guy. you for the inquiry. Well, would you like some flop? Uh, you Drink know, the flop. I'm trying to stay away from this stuff. But, drink the slop. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll drink the slop. Oh, good. it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just maniacally laugh and then see end the scene because it's good for me. Yeah, that's good. Okay, sweet. Um, good. Okay, so Cosimo enters the sterile white hallway and he <gasps> approaches the AI and he says, "A hey, uh, computer yes. access code." Three. Correct. Oh. Uh, computer, I need your help. What do you need, Cosimo Gutierrez? I think there's something in the slop. Can you can you run an analysis on the slop that Chef Davies been serving? Please play sample in orb. Uh, uh, okay, and he like looks down. He's got a little bit of slop on his on his like on his shirt, and he like scoops it out and he just throws it at the orb. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, he doesn't throw it. He just like smears it all over the orb. <laughs> Analysis complete. Foreign alien matter detected. Oh, I knew it. How many people were eating slop in the mess hall? 45 of the 65 crew members were eating slop in the mess hall. 
That is because 20 were in the morgue. Computer, initiate program Icarus. Initiating program Icarus. Uh, igniting <laughs> central wings. And this drawer pops out of the orb, and he takes this little <laughs> tiny switch out of it. Uh, Jimmy, were you saying something? I was going to say black die. Black And I was die. going to say, you hear on the door, uh, Gutierrez, is that no one would like to speak with you about some slop-related matters made eating of it by you, preferably. <laughs> and he puts the switch in his pocket and he goes... Come in, Captain. He goes, good thing I've got this. And he walks away. And as he walks away, we watch him walk away, but we stay with the computer. And the computer goes, beep, boop. Practical joke deployed. <laughs> oh. oh. That's Call pretty me good. crazy now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I will kill you. So that was my black die. Okay, so it's your turn, Goofer. So how many scenes are left? <laughs> so it is, <laughs> you You have two more scenes, and then it's one more Will scene and one more my scene. So basically we go around the horn okay. one more time plus, yeah. Yeah, we go around the horn with you, around the horn, and end with you. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, then I guess uh, the shot is walking you as in uh, Cos Cosimo Gutierrez, uh, mm -hmm. walking down a hallway of the ship, kind of like looking around, making sure no one's following, no one's around, you kind of sneaking, but then you turn a corner of a hallway and you see Goofer Spachemin just standing right in front of you. Hey, Cosimo, you know, I was thinking uh, I overreacted earlier. Maybe things got a little out of control. Goof, I'm so happy you said that. I really need a friendly face right now. Oh, boy. Yeah. Listen, That's... I got something up my sleeve that may get us out of this situation. You know what I mean? Wink, wink, honk, honk. Wait, are you talking about boning? Well, maybe you later. go back and bone again? Maybe later, but, uh, but right. first... What's up your sleeve? We got to find all the people that are still normal. And we got to get them away from right. the people that ain't. Okay? Like me. But what's what's the plan? Yeah, you're normal. I think... <laughs> I'm we, normal! We get everybody who's normal to the front of the ship. And we get everybody in the slopper back in the back part of the ship. And then we blow this puppy. And we go home. Because this mission's a dud. Did no. somebody say normal people? Hey, here's Dang. another normal. Flynn. It's me, wait, Flynn. Wait a minute. You Flynn's, think he looks normal? Flynn's definitely one of the normal ones. We can Could the normal us. guy do this? <laughs> <laughs> That's a normal thing to do. You want to stop? Goofa. And here, if it wasn't Goofa. normal... Why wouldn't, why would I be doing it too? Oh, blah, blah, no. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to give you a black die. <laughs> and and Cosimo just says, oh, no. <laughs> nah, you why too, goofy. Why don't goofa. you make love to me, Flynn? Don't love you anymore. I just love slop. Oh, and no. I, ah. I grab at you. Ah. Ah. Scene. <laughs> nice. All right, so it's uh, Flynn's uh, Flynn's turn. Oh, my turn. Um, so I will. This is just going to be a quick one. I'm going to cut to. Um, hmm. Do, do I was going to cut to. Yeah, my idea was it was going to cut to all of the slot people in the back of the ship. Looking for like looking for you, mm -hmm. and then it was going to turn out you were at the front of the ship, like you were about to lock them in. I'm trying to think. I like. I don't even know if it's worth acting out, out the scene. I think. I think there's a better scene though. 
Okay. Like, how does that happen? And remember, you, you're probably going to get a white die. You are as Flynn. Yeah. So it's got to be yeah, something so that's favorable that. for you. Ooh, yeah. as in maybe somehow you find something that cures your uh, space madness. Ooh. Oh, that's true. Uh, it could okay. be in the waste room. It could just be waste of some sort. The corpses. <laughs> we have lots of corpses laying around. I love <laughs> waste corpses. Um, so I'm going to be... Okay, so if that's... I'm going to be in the medical center... Um, I'm going to say the slop people at this point have gone back to just doing their regular duties mm -hmm. like zombies, but also slop. Yeah. So I'm just like doing sloppy surgery, as yeah. they call it. Um, sloppy second surgery, because uh, I already did the first surgery. So now I'm doing the, the second surgery. And, da and Davey's on the operating table and your surgery is just cutting off pieces of his slop. And Davey just has and bowl putting the bowls. bowls underneath it. And he goes, yeah, I need a little bit more for breakfast. Oh, that's good. That's good. Just a little <laughs> off the thigh there. Oh, that's perfect. Of course, uh, baby. <laughs> and then uh, Flynn's going to reach over and uh, stab his hand by accident into a syringe that's just on the table. And I'm just going to go... And then all the, the slop is going to slop to the floor. And then just a wet Flynn is standing what was inside of it. And it's just like... <gasps> and he just looks down at his hands, almost like in the thing, his hands are inside of mm -hmm. Davy. And yeah. he's just like, pulls them out. And he goes, oh, God. And so he slams down into Davy, not knowing what it's going to do. And oh, then yeah, give me that runs out of stuff. the door. Um, do you, It's up to you. Do you want to... Do you want to say what, what the syringe was? Um, I only didn't say what it was because I really couldn't think of something. I was so say, either of you have something. I have a joke, which is that it, it says COVID-19 on it. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't make uh, any I, sense. I thought your joke was going to be that it's, it's, uh, it's uh, <laughs> something else white. Oh, and oh it's, <laughs> oh. It I, could say Gutierrez sample on it. I like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a Gutierrez sample. Um, so oh, we can no. do... Uh, I was either in the scene there, or I run into Gutierrez in the hallway. Oh my god! Okay. And Gutierrez has to give has to give Goofer the cure. <laughs> <laughs> Gutierrez goes. Oh my god! So Gutierrez is running through the hallways, and he's panicking, and he's just like running by all these slop people who are reaching out to him. He goes, "I gotta get out of here. They're all slop. They're all slop. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here." And he turns the corner and he goes, "Wham!" Right into Flynn, and he looks down. And he goes, "Flynn." No, uh, yeah, I, I cured myself. So what did you do? Still in there, but what I, was it? I, I, I don't want to say. What was it? It was your excretion. The sample I took the other day. <gasps> I mean, I took it without your permission. The one you manually <laughs> collected? After our <laughs> night of passion. Oh. Okay, well, listen. Everything's gone to hell. We only got one shot out of this. Get to the lifeboat. I'll meet you there, okay? Okay, I'll get there. But listen. What? The lifeboat what? only seats three people. I gotta go save That's Goofa. That's a terrible lifeboat. Why did we have that? <laughs> they didn't call this... Well, they almost... You know what the original name of this ship was? The idiot ship. The United States Spaceship Titanic. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a terrible name. Okay, I, I'll get to I, the lifeboat. Okay, I'll go get Goofa, and I'll meet you there, okay? Okay, I love you. Oh, oh we'll talk about this later, all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. I, I, I gave myself a white die, because that's all there is left. So, Goofa, you're getting a white die, too. What's the final scene? Uh, the final scene is I'm just, uh, I guess, running around the halls going, Cosmo, Cosmo, where Goofa. are you? Goofa! Cosmo! Are you ready for some slop? Yeah. I made it extra sloppy for you. And I've got something for you. And you head towards my bunk, my my room, which is where the noise is coming from. Yep. <gasps> Come here, Goofa. Come here. Oh. oh, I like where this is going. <laughs> it's, it's a dark room. 
and we're in the hallway. Yeah. I hope you don't mind me taking over your seat, but can no, you just see, fine. you just hear, you just see uh, Cosimo like in the doorway and he goes, come here, Goofa. I got just what the doctor ordered. And he like backs into the room and the room is dark. So you can't see into the room and Goofa just goes in the room. And as soon as he goes Achi, through the doorway, Achi. the door slams shut. And then you just oh. hear, oh yeah. Here's your medicine. This is the worst thing we've ever done. Oh, spoonful, spoonful of sugar would help that go down. <laughs> hey, what's happening? I'm not feeling so sloppy anymore. Goofa? What, what was I doing? You and me, baby. We gotta get to this lifeboat. Do you have anything to that you want to say to me after saving my life? And maybe you'd never have me again. Yeah. Maybe you'd have a certain realization about the nature <laughs> of our relationship and your feelings about it. Yeah, you know, I've been thinking. I think. I think we should have a threesome with Flint. <laughs> <laughs> Scene. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, oh god. Okay, so now we roll the die and we figure out the um the epilogue. Uh, so let me pull that up real quick because I uh, I didn't bring the book out because I didn't think I needed it, but I guess I actually did for the epilogue. Wow. Fiasco. So lazy. Um. One second, folks. Uh oh. Okay. Oh. Hey, I'm getting there. Hey. Oh. Hey. Daddy's getting there. bad. Bad girl. Daddy's. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta grab the book. <laughs> wow. Don't leave I'm me here with Jimmy. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, what's new with you, Will? Oh, God, he's going to talk about this rash again. Uh... So this rash, it's actually <laughs> now encompassed my entire torso. <laughs> and it's oozing. <laughs> That's... It's weird, because the mean? tip is clear, but the shaft is... The shaft is what is really well, covered. The... Let me show <laughs> you, let me show you. <laughs> Um, so I, I brought the whole thing. I want to show you guys my, my custom copy of Fiasco. It's not super custom, but I had this old briefcase. Jimmy, you may oh, recognize this. Remember, remember from the oh, debate my. team when I would walk around with a briefcase? Now, this is going to surprise people, but in high school, Ian was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I've always thought that. <laughs> so I repurposed it as my... Uh, it holds my fiasco playset with my dice and a bunch of uh, stuff. Wow. Um, yeah, that's really cool, Ian. Shut up, Will. And you're proud of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm concerned because it seems like you're showing off and you should be. And <laughs> you're not really showing anything worthwhile? Okay, so here we go. This um, is showing. Oops, oops. Aftermath, here we go. So let's roll some dice here. I'm gonna start with no. Will. Oh, I feel like that didn't actually shuffle. Let's try it again. Okay, so you have a white four and a black two, which is a total of uh, white two. White two, merciless. You might not be dead on the outside, but you sure as hell are dead on the inside. The emotional or mental wounds you have suffered will never heal the future is a brick wall. So Jeez. give us the uh, epilogue for your character. Uh, I'm going to say eventually he... So we all three of us got onto the lifeboat. We Yeah, I think that's the assumption. Is we made it to the lifeboat and yeah. the lifeboat left the ship. We ejected. Um, but for the rest of my life, I was searching for a recipe to slop. And I couldn't figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I spent all of my money, all of my time 
people distances themselves from me. And finally, the police on a wellness check found me dead in my apartment. Uh, walls covered in recipes with red strings going to uh-huh. each one. Uh, he died of a slop just, overdose. Yeah, bowls of white salty liquids. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, of different viscosities. But none of them. Yeah, different viscosities. Oh. But none tasted like uh, like the delicious slop. slop. Um, real quick, I just need to say this. Jimmy, you know what phrase got stuck in my head the other day and I couldn't stop laughing? What's that? Lots of floats. <laughs> so That's we, a great thing to say. So we knew this kid in high school named his last name was Lotus. Oh, no. Yeah. And I remember, his last name was Lotus. And I don't even think it was on the Christmas card. It's just Jimmy got a Christmas card from him while we were in college. And Jimmy just imagined that the Christmas card said like instead of lots of love, it just said lots of loads. <laughs> And we just couldn't stop or, laughing about it at this I Waffle House. Instead of LOL, it was like a midnight in this Waffle House in the middle of rural Maryland, and it was me, Jimmy, and another friend. And we couldn't stop laughing at the phrase "lots of loads." <laughs> lots of loads, the loads. Oh boy. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna roll my die here. Roll my dice. Yeah. I, okay. Uh, black <laughs> seven. I can't say dice right. I know. Black seven, white five, so that is a black two. Brutal. Wounds that will never heal, for starters. Stuff sawed <laughs> off, blowed off, or burned off on your way to grand ignominious failure. Ignominious failure. So uh, during the I'm threesome on the life. <laughs> Kiss whatever you care about goodbye. You may die, but you may not. So <sighs> here's what happened. Wow. <clears throat> I feel like um, when the lifeboat landed, Cosimo, the first time he had coitus after the lifeboat landed. With whom? Oh, with, with Flynn and Goofer, clearly. Um, well, after we landed. How do I put this? His most, the organ he's the most proud of, somehow, some way. got replaced with slop it's just not there anymore (laughs) he doesn't know how it happened he doesn't know why he doesn't know if there was something on or in flynn or goofer that caused it to happen but it wasn't me man he just feels like a significant part of his life is gone now and he has an urge that he can never satisfy an itch he can never scratch a hole he will never fill (laughs) I could help you there. <laughs> oh, um, okay, so let's roll for Goofer. Goofer. Act oh. I don't know if that was all of them. That six didn't change. Here we go. That's all of them. Okay, that is a white 11, black 11. <laughs> Zero. They didn't change again. Zero. Yeah, but. What happens with zero? Oh, they did. Sorry. The oh, worst idiot. thing in the universe. This probably doesn't include death, since death would be way better <laughs> than whatever this is. Be creative and don't settle for the first worst thing that comes to mind. There's something darker, more awful, more wretched in there somewhere. Um, well, I am going to go with the first thing that came to mind. Um <laughs> When we landed, everything uh, for Goofer seemed fine. He actually seemed like he was more on top of things than ever. Um, but then, you know, the, the, the camera kind of follows him once he gets back home by himself. And you see him uh, kind of relax and go, whoa, what an adventure. But then you see him take off his shoes and there's... <gasps> Two <gasps> sloppy little feet, and oh, he says, oh. "But he is where the real fun begins." Oh no! And there's bum bum bum. <laughs> Ladies and, and gentlemen, that's, crazy. Crazy. that's been fiasco at first contact. How you feeling, boys? I think that went rather well. <laughs> that was pretty good. I like that it. Went, that went well. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I don't want to say we did a better job than the first one, but it felt like. It felt like we we explored a lot more of these characters. 
and their interactions yeah. with each other. Like the first one, I felt like we were just focused on plot points, so the plot made more sense, but this one felt like we had more fun. In this one, it was like the characters drove the plot, you know? Yeah, yeah. In this one, I just really liked all the sex scenes. It was real good. <laughs> yeah, Same. I, I think that we did such a good job. Like, we could teach, like, we could show this to, like, kids just to teach them how to yeah. play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I made my own slop. Uh, oh. Wow. We do Yikes. make this as uh, YouTube for kids, so. Uh, <laughs> I do think so we. It's a service. I think we kept it PG thirteen. Somehow we kept it PG thirteen, <laughs> like right on the <laughs> barrier. True. Oh my goodness. Um, <sighs> how you guys feeling about Fiasco? That's the second time uh, we've played together third time, third or fourth time for some of us. I still really like the game. I feel like every time I like fiasco. it's, it's just, that took what an hour and a half, including setup. That was great. That was really yeah. good. Um, Jimmy, are you up for doing this again sometime in the future? Sure. Dang I was it. thinking, <laughs> you know, who should we, we should get involved with this. Loads. No, no. <laughs> We gotta get lots of loads up in here, man. Jeff Goldblum. I was thinking <laughs> Jean Luc, if we could rope him into this. Oh, Picard. Yeah. I think he would like it. We have a, we have a mutual friend, Jean Luc, <laughs> and we think I think he would like it. Yeah, and he is not a space admiral, so no. Oh, that's good. Yeah, the my buddy, I was texting to see if I could get him last minute. He said he wants to, just needs more. Uh, oh yeah. Leeway next time, but he's a uh, he actually he does improv in like. New York City and all that sort of stuff because he's cool. Um, yeah. It sounds great. Yeah. So it sounds like, not that this is official, but it sounds like about once a month because it's been a month since we did the last one. I think once a month feels pretty good for this. I think this is something we're definitely going to put in the, in like the stream hopper in terms of whenever we feel like it, we pull it out and we do another fiasco because there are well, some know. of the other play sets we were looking at was um, one of the ones is called Dragon Slayers and it's like a D and D knockoff where you're like. Oh, you're a bunch of adventurers who like to get drunk and make mistakes, but somehow this town thinks you're going to kill the dragon for them, you know? Oh, and that's like news and there was that six. fake Star Wars one we found too. Oh yeah, which was like was Death good. Planet. You have to kill. You have to destroy the Death Planet before. Yeah, it was like Doom Death Man Planet Gajillion or something. <laughs> yeah. So it's a lot of yeah, good stuff. It's actually what J.J. Abrams used to write the script <laughs> for the Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, they just played around a fiasco. I just Him, want to George say, Lucas and Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, I, I know you couldn't make it, but it is, and, and this is nothing against Jake or anything. I cannot believe that like a rewrite that he put together in like a week for the rise of Skywalker was 10 times better than the actual movie. <laughs> it was, <laughs> and it wasn't even that good of a screenplay, but it was just so he, much better than the real thing. You didn't crazy. have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say that? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to quantify where it's like the bar was so low. Oh my gosh. I tried. Yeah, Jake could have pooped on a page and it would have been better. You, would you, you try to rewatch did. it? I don't um, know if I can rewatch it. Man. I, 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 I could only make it less than halfway through because it's about four and a half hours long, right? Mm -hmm. um, well, you did see it twice, it's just, at least twice in theaters, right? Because the second time was with me. Yes. Yeah. That twice. Yeah, I only saw it once. Time. Oh, that's God. all. But it was it was so much fun watching it with Ian because just witnessing <laughs> you being like horrified and disgusted and the light going out of your eyes and I could tell like I knew when the scenes were gonna come, so I just oh, look at that you like that sounds awesome. Yeah, you really would. You would just turn to me and be like, It's coming, it's coming. I saw uh, I saw it with a friend of mine and when one of the reveals happened, we both leaned to look at each other and just went boo. <laughs> the scene that broke Ian was I'm the spy. <laughs> I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I was like, I'm glad. Yeah, because that scene, I was like, oh, I'm glad the Hitler stand in is now a good guy. Oh, it's like, my goodness. Course. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, so um, <laughs> we are Subpixel. You can find us at subpixelfilms.com. If you enjoyed this stream, please give us a like, follow, comment, subscribe, any way you can interact with this video. It does two things for us. Number one, it tells us that you enjoyed this piece of content and we should make more stuff like this. And I promise we will be having more fiasco in the future. And number two, it helps us out on Twitch, Mixer, or YouTube, wherever you're watching. It lets that platform know that this is some good content and they should show it to more people. Um, if you enjoyed this 
little ditty that we did tonight. We've got plenty more stuff at subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our YouTube channel. We have all of our stream archives as well as a bunch of edited videos. We have a video coming out Monday. I'm very proud of this. All I did was write it. But Jake's doing the editing and he's a fantastic editor. It's about Red Faction and the demo for that game and why I think it's the perfect demo. Basically talking about game, game demos, how they used to be popular, how they've waned, what makes a great demo, what doesn't, and why Red Faction, that 2001 FPS sci-fi shooter, has such a fantastic demo. It's a good little piece that'll be up on Monday on the YouTube channel. If you want to know more about what's going on in our world, upcoming streams, upcoming content, teases, sharing of content that we like, random stuff, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, at Subpixel Team. That's our handle. Uh, let me kick it over to the full cam while I'm on it. Hi, full cam. Um, that's pretty much it. But if you like any of us individually, you can find us. Will, where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. And you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. And Jimmy, where can people find you? People can find me on Twitter at uh, Jommy Jones, but... <laughs> The easiest place to find me is probably just in Ian's Twitter feed, um, <laughs> yeah. trolling him in every single tweet that I he I just want to say something. You, you made me have two revelations today. Number yeah. one was that I've been spelling... Oh my god, you didn't realize that y'all is a contraction of you all? I did, but apparently it's Wait, not... Wait, what? It... You didn't know that, Will? No, or, no, oh, you didn't know that? I did know that, but I'd, I'd always been spelling it Y-A apostrophe L-L. Apparently, it's spelled Y apostrophe A L L. Yeah, because that's how you. That's how contractions work. So that was my first but revelation. <laughs> that I've been spelling it, it, wrong. I mean, don't be so hard on him. You know that because you're not a blithering idiot. <laughs> See what you can't. What you forgot is Ian's a blithering idiot. Once you know that, then it makes sense. Uh, but the second thing was. I prefer my spelling, so I'm just gonna keep spelling it that way. <laughs> Wait, when? Oh, you wrote Yow. It's Yow. Sometimes TikTok is good, Yow. <laughs> I think I've been misspelling it for like a year now. How have I never noticed this? Oh, I'm boy. I'm friends with an idiot. So if you want that. Yeah, you're that, canceled now. I'm sorry to say oh, you're, you're canceled. Great. Now I can finally tweet out in support of Wide Stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We gotta end the stream. Excuse me? We gotta end the stream. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Um, I'm excited for the next fiasco. But until then, I'm not. Will, thank you for joining us. Jimmy, thank you for joining us. Goodbye.